Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, thought I'd try something a little bit different today. I picked up these guys just before Christmas. Um, and there was a bit of a deal as you can see going on with them. Buy one, get one free. So I managed to pick up a few. Um, you see there's three figures here. I actually picked up a fourth, which was uh, a duplicate of Mumra, which I gave to my friend here. So pretty good really, you know, ended up paying 20 quid for four figures. Uh, can't grumble at that. Um, I, you know, quite into Thundercats, but not mega into them. I did have a few figures as a kid. And I thought, just you know, I haven't heard great things about this line. So I'm not expecting great things in terms of quality. But I thought it would be something worth looking at anyway, especially at this price. These are all figures from Wave 1. Uh, you see it's Savage World, Thundercats. You've got Panthro, Mumra and S Slythe, is it? I'm sure I to pronounce him his name. You see on the back here, Wave 1 was uh, Lino, Panthro, uh, Mumra and uh, Slythe. And um, they didn't have him in there, unfortunately. Um, I have seen the Wave 2 figures elsewhere for, again, around about sort of between 10 and 15. So nothing uh, too bad. Um, I haven't seen Tiger too many times places but uh, I may well pick up the others just to complete the set anyway um, I thought I'd take a look at these guys so we're gonna open it up and see what they're what they're actually like so let's open them up and, and take a look so first of all we'll take a look at uh, Panthro one of the Thundercats so a little bit tricky to get open without completely wrecking the packages you know i picked up kind of the best ones but a load of them you know there's loads loads of sort of tear marks and everything on them so the actual boxes weren't in great condition anyway to start off with so yeah it's definitely not one of those ones that you're thinking yeah you collect them on card or anything else like that so there you go got one off to side um it does come with a, a little baggie which has got um this kind of nun nunchucks in um, let's so get him out here. Just take a look at him. Uh, first impression is not bad. Uh, legs move all right. It's kind of got that classic kind of He-Man's kind of stance on him. Um, head does look a little bit weird. It looked kind of looks a bit like a goblin or anything. Um, it's got a bit of an odd look to him. His arms do move, but they're quite stiff. And I've heard quite a few people. Well, they've managed to snap these off, but the paint detail is quite nice here. A little bit rough around here. There's a few little blots and different pieces on here. But I'm more or less going to just have these guys on display. So, you know, I'm not going to move them around too much. Just going to have him hopefully holding his weapon if we can actually get that in there. So I might do it that way around. Yeah, it's not not the easiest to try and get him to hold his weapon. I'll try in the other hand, perhaps. Just don't want to break anything. There we go. Yeah, so you can get him to hold that in his hand. It does work all right. There's no... In terms of articulation, the, the sort of arms move up and down, the head moves across, and the sort of legs move a little bit out to the side. Again, they do come out a little bit, but um feels like they're just on a ball peg. Um, ball joint, sorry. So I don't want to move around too much. So that is kind of panthro there. So I'm just going to pop them off to the side here. And next up, we'll have a look at uh, bad guys. So we'll have a look at Mumra. Let's pop these ones down. Get them all opened up. I'm trying not to completely wreck the card, but uh, it's not that easy. Okay, so he just again, he does come with a, a couple of weapons here as well. So, side, so um, he's kind of got this sword here, which is in a, comes in a plastic bag here. Silver plastic looks like it's painted gold here as well. 
Mumra actually looks pretty good. Comes with this plastic cape here. Plastic kind of loincloth thing here as well. You can move their legs out. And their head's pretty detailed with all these bits coming off here. So I think that looks pretty good. He's probably, I would say the the sculpt wise, the best one out of the out of the bunch, I would say. Uh, come on. Again, that it feels like a quite tough sort of plastic here, and the fingers aren't easy to sort of manipulate and move out of the way. So, it's quite I'm sort of wrestling with this guy, trying to just get him to hold the sword. I don't know if it's easier to sort of like. it down this way again I heard lots of stories where people have snapped arms off these so I'm trying to be trying not to put too much pressure on it uh, see I've got it in his hand but he's kind of bent the thumb back a little bit yeah so yeah you can Get the sword in there in the end, but um, the plastic quality on these, on some of it, isn't that great. The, I noticed the paint on the arms isn't that good. Other than that, the chest is done pretty well, and the face and the eyes is all done nicely. There's a little bit of where well, it's gone over on here and just on the legs here, but. Not too bad overall, I would say. I'd say he's definitely the sort of pick of the bunch. So, worth getting on, on just on his own, really, if you can get hold of Lino. And he stands up pretty well as well. Uh, next up, we'll take a look at uh, Slythe, another baddie. Swift into this guy here. Uh, again, there's no packaging just to hold him in place, so you can quite easily take him out. And he comes with like a, an axe. The plastic on this does feel very brittle. I could break at any point, but actually, the, the detailing on the figure is pretty good. Um, you know, he's got all these kind of weathering spots and pieces here again hands don't feel that flexible in terms of trying to make room for him to hold his weapon the tail feels like it's a solid piece in fact it looks you can as if you can almost like see the glue there underneath soft plastic for the kind of loincloth area here there's now oh, there is waist articulation in them I didn't realize that but it's not like a springy waist or anything else like that and the head does rotate around slightly like that so that's quite good that you can get that i think the head rotates around on on mumra as well um and let's see if we can get him to hold his weapon might be a little bit easier on this one just because that yeah there we go plastic's quite tough and uh there you go that is the savage world thundercats thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time bye bye for now